morning. It is Wednesday. Today's actually the first day of the tour. If you see my previous vlog, we were actually on an add-on, which was the Nile River Cruise. This is officially the Holy Land tour, where it all began. So right now we're in Cairo. There's 20 people on our tour. We're staying at the Five Star Hotel. We're picking up the other people from the Four Star Hotel. We're staying like at a Hilton. Today we're doing the Pyramids of Giza. I believe we're also doing a Pyramid of Light show at night. So it's 7.30 in the morning. Yeah, our wake up call was really early, which sucks. It was too dark in the hotel room for me to take a picture. So I'm here now. I want to take you along. The Pyramids first. Then after the pyramids, we will see what we will do. So, all of you first time in Egypt? Yes. yes. Do you think how many pyramids we have in Egypt? 50. 50. Three. 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 How many? 135. Around. Some of them are remains, some are complete. Nothing complete, 100%, but we like to say complete. So we will visit the pyramids of Giza today. We've made it to the pyramids of Giza. All right, it's time to begin the tour. Not pharaohs yet. So pharaohs came after. It's title for everyone. But at this time, they are kings. This is the our land from satellite. Can you see the Nile River divided our land to two pieces, yes. east and west? So Egyptians built their houses in the east side. Behind me is the Grand Pyramid at the Pyramids of Giza. We know from the papyrus it takes them 20 years to build this. So 20 years. Okay. There are a lot of dogs in Egypt, a lot of wild dogs. Something had kind of incited the dogs to start running and barking. Heart rages around like an ocean in my head because there are so many things that I left unsaid. This is the small pyramid. It still has limestone on the outer front. The exterior of this pyramid used to be completely smooth, but it's eroded. Come on. All right. This entrance is crazy. So if you have back problems, knee problems, this is not for you. I'm about to descend into this darkness. Wish me luck. So this corridor is about six feet tall. As you can see, it's right above my head. So I wasn't supposed to be in here, but somebody that bought a ticket decided they didn't want to come in, so I'm in. Excuse me if it's dark, I'm by myself. All right, I'm back to another passageway that's gonna be really cramped. So I finally reached a spot where there's more headroom. Somebody's coming the wrong way. Basically empty. There was a place to take a picture. 
at this site we the one behind me is a small pyramid they gave us the option to go into that one I said no I just came to take pictures but I guess somebody who had bought a ticket saw how cramped it was sorry there's a lot of fights and arguing going on around here somebody who had bought a ticket saw how cramped and crowded it was and decided they they weren't gonna do it my tour group had an extra ticket my tour guide offered it to me and I took it I will say at the bottom there wasn't much there most of these tombs have been raided they're empty but it was nice to see how the passageways kind of work. I'm under an umbrella. Somebody recommended I get one. And at first I was like, am I being crazy? It's not crazy, it's hot out here. It's actually really good. My friend has a fan. This umbrella is from Amazon. I'm gonna link them all below. Really good if you're traveling to a warm place. So we're done with the pyramids of Giza. We're supposed to be doing a camel ride. The camels out here stink. So I don't know how that's gonna work out. On to the next spot. Bigger. It's the same size like the biggest and the second. No. Three steps. The toy B, we need you to press strongly when it come up and lean back. Then when when it Time for a camel ride. Girl, these camels over here trying to fight. That's Savon's boo right there. <laughs> My friend is about to get on her camel. <laughs> Go ahead, Savan. <laughs> I'm on a camel. <laughs> We didn't get good pictures, unfortunately. Our guy only took like two pictures. There was one camera guy that was taking like the best pictures, but he only went with one person. We got a guy who was like, snap, snap.
climbed down from its granite flanks and laying down their tools, looked up with wonderment. Good morning, it's Thursday, June 22nd. Excuse me, I have my glasses on. Right now we're just like at a rest stop. So we've left Cairo, we've passed, actually they're building a new capital called Capital Cairo in the middle of the desert. I think they're trying to do like a Dubai type thing out here. The bus is behind me, we're at a rest stop. We're in the middle of nowhere. We're headed to Mount Sinai, St. Catherine. All the hotels that we've picked for this trip were supposed to be five star. The hotel at Mount Sinai, they gave us a disclaimer like, yeah, unfortunately, all the hotels in the area are really they're not up to par. You're just gonna get what you're gonna get. We're still in the Africa part of Egypt. We're headed over the peninsula. We're about to head to the Asian part of Egypt. Around 1 a.m., 2 a.m. on Friday, we're supposed to be climbing Mount Sinai. All we're probably gonna do today is check into this little hotel and chill. But we're at a rest stop and that's where we are. I'll let you know more when we get to the hotel. We're out in the middle of nowhere. We're taking a break. That's where we are. St. Catharines. We're still waiting to see what our room is. The accommodations are interesting. The property's interesting. Let's see. So we made it to our room in St. Catharines. It's really bare bones. We're only here for a day. I'll give you a tour. This is the closet. Standard issue. That's the front door we just walked in. A little alcove al al <laughs> to hold our luggage. Um, you know, right by Mount Sinai, so you're gonna have a mountain view. This is the bathroom. Let me find a light. All right, here's our bathroom. Bare bones. Toilet. That's the shower. Yeah. All right, so we have two, I don't even call these double beds. <laughs> My friend just saw our shower. So these are two double beds. Maybe they're twins. They're twins. They're twins. <laughs> we have what looks like a TV, maybe. A desk, a fridge, and our outdoor area. <sighs> Hopefully we have Wi-Fi, because... Yeah. This is the view from our room. We are going to pretend that we're glamping for a day. Because that's what it feels like, right? Just glamping. They have cactus, which is something I have not seen the whole time I've been here.
This something I will give you two. This is not a piece. So if, it's, if it's this, it will take like 20 minutes. Oh. Okay, good morning, it's Friday. It's 1 a.m. We're still in St. Catherine. We're headed up Mount Sinai. So Mount Sinai is where Moses is believed to have gotten the, the Ten Commandments. We're headed up 4.2 kilometers, which is about 2.6 miles up. Then we have to climb up 750 steps. Once we reach the top, we're gonna come head straight down. Hopefully the sun will be rising as we're heading down the mountain. We're headed to Jordan in the morning, so we need to get down the mountain. It's about 17 degrees Celsius, I think almost 60 degrees Fahrenheit. It's gonna be a little bit chilly. So the way that Mount Sinai works, if I show it to you, the elevation isn't really high, but since we're going around in a circle, it's gonna be 4.2 kilometers, which is like 2.6 miles up. I guess in a circle i'm planning to walk it some people are going to take a camel after those 4.2 kilometers then there's 750 steps that you have to take by yourself so everybody that took a camel is going to have to take get off and just walk up we're going to get to the top then we're going to do it all over in the reverse so i'll see you when we get to the bottom of Mount Sinai it, it was definitely hard so the first 4.2 miles was, was tough but the final stairs oh my gosh I didn't think I was gonna make it we're here there's actually a cave that they feel like Moses climbed into so I'm about to walk over there I can't wait to walk down though <laughs> I'm definitely winded you know there were a lot of people of all different ages races sexes sizes but definitely you need to be in decent shape um, unless you want to take a camel but even if you take a camel the last 750 steps it's probably about 45 minutes so we're still at the summit of mount sinai and the sun is starting to rise it's a beautiful day it's a little chilly I feel like it's definitely in the 50s right now. This is the summit, so I know in the winter it snows, but today it's just really chilly. On ground level, it's definitely probably 80 degrees, maybe 70, so it's a big difference. Probably gonna chill down here a little bit longer, and then we're gonna head down. When I initially talked to you guys, it was a much, much louder area. We've kind of come down a little bit to a nice calm area. You can kind of see. I'm gonna show you a little bit of the sunrise, and then we're gonna head down, have breakfast. You okay? Okay, it took us like three hours to get up here. So hopefully it'll only take us an hour to get back. We're headed down, breakfast, shower, and then we're headed to Jordan. Mm -hmm. 